uh, let us talk about our very good friend Lakshmi Narayan Subramaniam, Subbu Dada. Now, the problem with uh, Subbu is that he keeps coming up with these pens which are fantastic to look at, are very good performers and uh, are otherwise, uh, you know, on a continuous search for perfection. So I'm, I'm saying this uh, search for perfection because uh, they are uh, very near perfect and uh, you know, they have evolved over a period of time, keeping Indian users in mind so that most of the pens that uh, Subramaniam or ASA, uh, ASA pens uh, keep churning out are kind of made with people like us in mind, you and me in mind. So that we, we kind of, you know, they, they feel at home in our hands. So there's nothing to really to comment about the ergonomics of the pens, the designs of the pens, the material of the pens, the weight and balance of the pens, the uh, you know, the nib fade because they use either Jovo nibs or ambitious nibs uh, or the converter cartridges which have all been standardized over a period of time and uh, have been very widely used by the fountain pen fraternity here with, uh, you know, customer feedbacks. And the good thing about people like Subramaniam is that they are always open to, uh, you know, consumer feedback. They very seriously take the feedback that comes in and then they, you know, try to tinker with it and improve upon it. So as a result, the end product that comes to our hands these days are not things that require a lot of comments because you know these pens as much as I do them and we know them from our heart. So uh, the only differentiating factor now, the only thing that makes you keep grabbing more pens and uh, you know picking one over the other or choosing one over the other is the look of the pen. And uh, Subramaniam is a very smart guy. He keeps changing the looks in the sense there is always newer colors, newer, you know, so many small differences here and there. And us being what we are, we end up buying these pens. Not that I'm regretting it. I love these pens. And... Uh, I met him a couple of days back again uh, and uh, I'll, I'll show you the ones that I bought. These are the two pens that uh, I got from him. This incidentally is a red and black clipless pen uh, with his standard. Now one of these pens has an ambitious nib, the other has a Jovo nib. I'll, I'll, I'll show you both the pens, I will show you the writing samples and I will uh, leave it on to you to decide which one is which and this is the ink filling mechanism. It has, oh, it's a Schmidt one and uh, this is one. I, I don't know why I asked for a clipless pen and uh, but here it is uh, so this is one the other of course is this beautiful colored pen and uh, a standard uh, asa uh, you know uh, creation which is of course as perfect as it can 
uh, go and uh, this also has a standard name and uh, a Schmidt converter. So without much ado, what I will do is I will write with these pens and uh, I will show you the writing samples and leave it on to you to decide which carries an ambitious nib and which carries a Jovo nib because I, I want to leave it on to you guys because you are the experts. You keep telling me about Jovo nibs and things like that. So you, <laughs> you sort it out. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't make uh, much of a difference to me because uh, I mean, it's the writing pleasure that matters. It's how it feels in my hand. It uh, how uh, how comfortable I am using a particular pen and how it looks that matters to me. Not how much it costs and definitely not what are the uh, materials that have gone into the making of a pen. Uh, sometimes there is a word called synergy which actually means that the sum total of the parts is greater than uh, the if you add the parts it's greater than it 2 plus 2 is equal to 5 kind of a thing so uh, it's the synergy of the pen that matters to me not the number that is assigned to the individual parts so i'll leave it on to you uh, but uh, the thing that I want to say is that yes, I do like Asa pens and I, I, I have been using them for a long time. Uh, Subramaniam is a great guy which adds to the uh, pleasure of uh, writing with these pens and uh, they are good. I mean, so the, I, I, I don't particularly like uh, these covers that he's made for the simple reasons that these covers don't fit. So, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a headache trying to fit it in. They don't fit. They should have been cut here. But, I mean, that's what I feel. But not that uh, it uh, robs the value of the pen. But uh, that's it. So, on uh, with the writing, on with the inking and the writing. Okay? Please follow.